Poison hemlock. How deadly is it and how do you identify it? There's a it? lot of plants that look like it, so you really have to pay attention. Once you recognize which is poison hemlock, you're gonna see it all over the place. And once you see it, you will not wanna even touch it. It's so common, and that's why it's so important to be able to recognize it so you don't mess with something this deadly. Now, it's only deadly if ingested, not if you touch it. From my research, there's not even an antidote that will neutralize this poison. The poison stops the communication from the brain to the muscles. I'll go through the differences between poison hemlock and some of the other common plants. You're looking at poison hemlock right now, and you've probably driven past it on the road thousands of times. So I look down in my asparagus bed, and what do I see? Something that resembles poison hemlock, but it's not. It's wild carrot. I'm going to walk this over to a real poison hemlock plant. Yep. A beautiful plant right in the flower garden. It should make you concerned to pull weeds now. Look really close because they're similar but different. Very important to be able to distinguish between the two. Look at this green purple stalk. This is very characteristic of poison hemlock. There's also another plant that looks a little bit like poison hemlock. Here is yarrow. It's not real similar, but it kinda is characteristic of it. If you take a look at all three together, you can see the yarrow, the wild carrot, and the poison hemlock. I'll touch the yarrow and the carrot, but I'm not gonna touch the poison hemlock. The poison hemlock will give some people a rash, but not like poison ivy. It's best just to stay clear. And it's really important to train your loved ones to be able to recognize this. You do not want to send your kids out to play in the yard with this stuff in there and have them start whipping it with a stick. Look it up online, get familiar with it, and know if you've got it. If you go back into history, Socrates fell victim to this plant. So with these in my hand, can you recognize poison hemlock? Like I said, it's pretty easy. It's the one I don't want to touch. Whoops, I just touched it. I was actually really trying not to. I'll go ahead and dig this one up so you can see the root and all. I definitely do not want this in my flower garden. I'll touch it with the shovel. Now my plan is to pull this up and throw it on a rock and let the plant die. I don't wanna throw it out in the weeds and have it survive. Some people will go in with rubber gloves and cut the plumes or the flowers off. If you get it before the plumes, it can't reproduce for next year. I'm gonna be setting it right on this rock until it's completely dead, then I'll throw it into the field. While it's on this rock, I'll keep an eye on it and make sure nobody touches it. Now that it's out of the ground, I'll get a close-up shot of it. Notice the long white root, the speckled red and green stem, and the fern-like leaves. The only thing this doesn't have is the flower and you want to be able to recognize this early so you can get rid of it. So next time you're taking a leisurely walk through the garden, just keep your eyes peeled for any deadly poisonous plants like poison hemlock. Hey, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.